Hey guys, it's Mita King, and there's been a Pyra Infinite Zero to Death combo discovered. And I'm going to be showing you how to do the Zero to Death, how to do it with an in infinite loop, and the counterplay to it. So, I'm going to start off by talking about what this is. So, basically when Sakurai programmed this attack, the side B, uh, Blazing Ends, you could do the two distances, you can do this one, and you can do the far one. So uh, normally you can't really attack out of it. So no matter what you try to do, like look, I can't I can't grab or anything. In fact, even if I try to if I try to get up attack, if I try to get up attack too quickly, let's try again. The game doesn't even let me do get up attack. See, that made it made me normal. If I mash a fast enough, it doesn't even let me do that. They they made sure really hard that no, you could not do anything as long as you throw out this move. Not even get up attack, not even grab, not switch, not no. I, I, try, I even tried ledge trump bears and stuff, and I, I couldn't couldn't find anything. However, it's been discovered that you can do footstools to uh, push your advantage state after after hitting it. So after normally you just have to just hit them like you know it's just, you just hit them and then nothing nothing happens, right? However, there's something that's been discovered where you can just footstool them into the ground, and if they don't tech, you do jab one, which is a frame three attack. And then jab lock them, and then you can do pretty, almost not any attack, but a wide variety of it. Almost any attack. You can do almost any attack after that. And that's how the loops can start. You foot, you side B, and then you footstool them, and then you do the jab lock. Now there is counterplay, which I'll show, which I'll show shortly. But first, let, let me let me uh, sh explain how this actually works. So basically, you do the side B attack. It's easy. You can do both the short and the long distance one, but it's significantly easier if you do the short distance. So I'll do the short distance. And then you do that. You, the, the step one, you just footstool, right? You, so you, you basically, you full hop over them, and then you just press double jump and then air dodge down, like this. Like, if I'm, if I'm just going to do it on empty air, it looks like this. Now, you can air dodge in a variety of directions. You can do a 45 degree down left. You can do straight down. Or the optimal one is to do uh, a down... Not, a 40, not 45 like this, but like... An intermediate one, because you, you you have a lot of angles. It's really easy to do the 45 down right, down down left. I mean, or down right, because you know it's a controller notch, and uh, straight down is obviously easy. But uh, a slight angle is actually better because it works against a variety of characters. Against Rob, it doesn't matter too much. But if you were to try this on, like, say, Ike or someone, uh, what would happen is um, you would you wouldn't you would uh, not land fast enough with with this air dodge because you know it's 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 less of a straight angle to the ground. So. You need those. You need those extra frames. And going straight down randomly, well, not truly random, but it unpredictably sometimes goes on the left or right side of you. But some characters like Rob just almost always like just go in front of you. Whereas someone like Ike, it's kind of like inconsistent. So it varies on the character. A consistent style is to do a slight air dodge direction. But let me show you what the combo looks like. We'll kick and then jab. Zero to death. Easy. So, basically, how that works, um, you, as I said, you do the side B, and then what you do is you full hop over them. And it's kind of like a timing, like a rhythm thing. Like, jump, bam. Right as, like, the last hit's happening, it's just kind of like a... Think of it like, like, like music, like a rhythm. And once you do it a bunch of times, it's just it's automatic. So, basically, about, about the same time it ends, about the same time the blazing end ends, you just press X and, and the air dodge. So, it's like, uh, you full hop, and then X air dodge at the same time, like this. And that that's pretty much that's pr that's pretty much the basic idea. Now there's more. There, it's, it gets more complicated than that because I can actually you know how you can reverse area rush. For those that don't know what that is, you run and then while you're in your turnaround animation, if you jump, you're backwards. That that can actually be useful here, and depending on the matchup, it can be useful. So like let's say I Rob was here and man, I don't get enough damage here. Well, I could uh. Well, no, not not there. What's like watch this. And I can do, and I can land behind him, and I can still, I can still get the jab, because I still land at the same speed. I'm just a, instead of doing a full hop approach, it's a running turn around. You don't have to be running for a little bit, and you have more than enough time to do that. So I can actually loop him back and forth. I messed up at the end, but you get the idea. It's basically as long as you don't mess up your execution, it's basically the same thing, and you can still. I've I've looped, so I've loop, I was testing this against like Robin Ike. I got him from like zero to three hundred, just going back, forth, left, right, left, right, left, right, over and over. I, I don't really need to show that because 
you can just see that it works if you don't mess up. But yeah, uh, that 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 could be useful depending on, like that between I would say the best two options is you do this one, and then you full hop and then do it air dodge back. Now, as I said, uh, it it will vary on the character. Like if I was to do the the 45 degree where I just go the down right notch against Ike, usually the jab like will miss. But if I'm do and if I do go straight down, what will happen is sometimes I'll go on the left side of Ike and sometimes I'll go on the right way and then I'll jab the wrong direction. Which also means you can't buffer your jab, which means you have to turn around first. Requires more skill, timing, more frames, and stuff. Um, so that's why the consistent method, as I said, is this slight, this slight air dodge. You don't want to go to 45, but you, you don't want to go straight down either. And I, I think I find that to be the most consistent. So that's like what I recommend practicing after labbing a bunch of different scenarios on a bunch of different characters. Now, against characters like Rob, Mewtwo, King K. Rule. Like Ridley, a lot of these big characters, um, I noticed that it works really, really well. And like when when you when you when Rob hits him, look how high up Rob is, and you just jump on his head. It just works really well, and you could see it just loops over and over. Now, if what I you would think it's always that easy, but uh, I'm gonna show how it's not always quite quite the case. So I'm gonna actually uh, change the character real quick, just so you could see how it interacts with a different character. I'll pick like Isabel this time, and you you could you, uh, a lot of characters interact kind of kind of like Isabel. Isabel. Uh, actually, no. I'll, I'll do. I'll do. I'll do the the power of Mithra Ditto because I can show you how. Uh, there, it's. I almost think of it like there's like three groups almost, or like three or four different groups, in terms of like what works and what doesn't work. But you'll understand in a second what I mean. So, um, I'll show right here real quick. Now, see. And, and then that footstool is either much more difficult or impossible. I rarely, I think I only got like once or twice ever, but because the timing's different. You don't just full hop. You have to do like down here and then do it. And then sometimes like it footstools, but it doesn't actually hit him down. But I hear the sound effect of it. A lot of characters interact just like that. It works the first time, but then after hitting them from the ground, the next time it doesn't really work. And you get like 46 to 50 damage from, from the attack. So, which is still really nice. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that's still extremely good. But um, you know you can't you can't loop it over and over at least not as easily. Now uh, let's uh, transform uh, Domo. And against certain characters like Mithra and Palatina, uh, they fall so fast. And in addition to falling fast, they have like they're low on the ground, like they're skinny characters. Like, the way they land, like watch watch the way she lands. Oops, I messed up there. See, yeah, I'll show you. The jab is gonna miss. I it's I, I can't get it. To, or I didn't do it extensively on Mithra, but I did do it extensively on Palatina, and against Palatina and many other characters, the jab just misses. And depending on like the fall speed of the character, generally if they're slower falling, like someone like Mewtwo is like super super easy. But if you if they hit, if you hit ground right away and you're like like one of those skinny just no, normal human type of characters that you're not like popping up from much from the air on your landing animation or ground animation then those characters are much more difficult so like the the characters who are like circles if you're like a circular character or a big body character then it, it's much easier for the jab to connect because this jab actually it doesn't hit the the opponents on the ground this actually will it will hit a lot of people while they're bouncing but it, it actually this actually won't work on everybody now with that said since if i do land this move it's still better for me to footstool, even though I don't have a guaranteed follow-up. In fact, down tilt, unfortunately, is too slow. Down tilt is frame uh, 9 with uh, Mithra, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then jab is 3. Uh, let's let's try to confirm this to see. 1, 2, 3. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So as you can see, it, that's like 6 frames slower. You don't have time for that. However, this comes into the next thing. You can actually just tech. So all this stuff I said right now, that's great. If they don't tech. All of this is true. Everything I've said so far, there is one specific counterplay, and that is teching. So, Domo's going to try to tech real quick. Oh, well, Domo missed the tech, but I forgot that he was Mithra. So, change the power so I can actually do it. <laughs> uh, I, actually, I actually missed my... Uh, my that. Uh, see, right there, Domo, Domo did a tech roll. So, even if I, was, even if I didn't mess up the execution... Um, my jab obviously would have missed because he did a tech roll. And then, you know, I can start doing like, let's say I think he's going to go left. I'll forward smash. I'll down air. Um, 
I don't, it's hard to say what's the best. Like, I'm, I'm assuming maybe maybe forward smash is the best, maybe down air, maybe maybe dash attack, depending which way you think they're going to go, their percent and all that stuff. So you, you kind of have to just, like, guess there. But um, it's still better than, like, hitting them normally. Like, look, if I hit him normally, he'll pop up in the air, and that's nice. But in my opinion, it's still better to have, like, a tech chase scenario, even if they're going to attack it. First, you execution test them. You ex execution test them that, oh, are they... Do they even know the timing for the attack? Because I'm sure you've practiced this a lot more on your end. 99% pr of the time, you're going to have practiced this more on your end than they are going to practice the tech on the receiving end. So they just might not know the timing. So you can knowledge check slash execution test them. Which, you know, you can get away with that a lot. Especially, like, yeah. Just execution testing with jab locks is, 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 all, is always nice. Because they might not know. And then most people, it's like, okay, well, they, you find out, oh, they do know the tech. And then they're probably always going to tech roll the same way, like, always toward away or something. You can start hard reading. Pyra has, like, the forward smashes, left or right. Um... Down airs into combos, dash attacks. She, she has a, like a lot of a lot of really good stuff that she, she can do for the hard punish. So you still get a tech chase, but so it's still really good regardless. So that I, I that's why I think that like even though the counter there's counterplay to not get like the the infinited like there's counterplay to not get infinite back and forth or zero to deft. Um, I I do want to say that you could um just tech and get away, but. You know they can correctly guess now to mention the finisher i already showed you how i do the loops back and forth but um i'll just show how the jab actually combos into any smash attack yes even forward smash however the window is only like a one or two frame window so oops this is this one's a little more tricky time compared to rob oops one second if i do that correctly and i do just the right amount of spacing between jab and F smash, then it will combo. I don't know if I timed that one particularly perfectly. However, I've tested this enough uh, enough before recording this video, to, and I've looked up with uh, with whatever people have been doing in addition to my own tests uh, before this video record to tell you that the jab into F smash this is true. However, you only have like a one or two frame window to do it. If you would like a much more big big giant window, if you do up smash, up smash is frame 15. And it scoops from the ground. Even if you hit somebody on the ground, jab up smash works on every single character I tested against. Uh, actually, does it hit you if you duck? Can you duck? Yeah, it really scoops people from the ground. Like, it, it starts deceptively low. It pretty it, So you can always jab up smash. Jab up smash is what I, I'd actually recommend. Jab, ups, uh, if F smash works with like a one or two frame window, and that's frame 20, up smash is five frames easier. In other words, it's free. You can up smash. You can jab, wait a really long time, and then up smash, and it'll still be free. Down smash is also good. Like if you're playing like Town City and you want to kill them off the side, because Town City is the highest ceiling in the game, um, but it has like the smallest or one of the smallest leads to blast zones. So if you get if you're on Town City, you probably you pretty much want to down smash to get them off the side. Down smash is actually frame ten, and on most stages. Uh, when you get him to like the uh, most stages, no matter where you're at position, the up smash is superior. But if you're on the edge of town or some someone for small, that's the blast zone that also has a high ceiling. Of course, that scenario will be different. Um, so yeah, the F smash works, but it's difficult. Up smash is what I recommend doing most of the time, and down smash is what I recommend if it's a small, that's the blast zone stage. Most of the time, I recommend just doing the up smash. Now, up B also works. However, it's there's no benefit of up B when you can just up smash like. Or down smash. There's not a scenario where up B is the best option. Now you can do jab up B and just you can press jab one and then hold up B. I guess it's the easier execution, although they can di left or right, so you'd have to chase them. But now let me show what happens if I try to uh, do jab and F smash too fast. See, see how I'm doing jab two. This is me. I'm every single time. I'm, all I'm doing is attempting jab into F smash. But see, that time I was a little too early. So what happened is it did jab one, jab two. And this time I did it more correctly. I waited just the amount of time. You want to wait a certain amount of time. Otherwise, you do jab in, jab into uh, jab two. Whether, whether you try to down smash, up smash. it's if it, The game punishes you by making you do jab two otherwise. Now, jab two is not the end of the world. But um, it's, it's, it's because... But jab two doesn't have a, a big window. I think if, if you actually do jab two by accident... You might want to have to like tech chase in other ways because that 
uh, or like do down tilt or something. I don't know. Um, but generally, you want to want to leave that cap. But this only matters if you're going for the forward smash, because the forward smash that that move kills at like if you're if you, you get F smashed here, you're probably dead at like 40 before hit, and that that's like incredibly strong. So if you wanted to like optimize it and lab it that way, then the forward smash is the optimal one. That is the one. That is the the play to learn. So there there's that as well. So yeah, um, as I. That, this in summary, in summary, I do want to mention. Um, I recommend learning this. Oh, oh, I, oh, I, I got the far one. Oh yeah, let me show the far one real quick before I forget. You see, the far, the far one still works. I didn't do a jab because uh, I was, I was just trying to show the far one. But uh, the far one still works. The short one's easier. And a lot of characters, what it happens where it only you, you can only get for like zero to forty-six or zero to fifty because the second rep doesn't work. That happens on like Isabel and a lot of other characters. And characters like Palutena just they fall too fast, and you, it doesn't work at all. Palutena is strictly a tech chase, for example. Even if you get the footstool, there's no way you can jab them, in my experience. So, and then the, you know the big characters, it's super easy. You can loop them. And, uh, you could probably do this on people on like Elite Smash. Like, oh, I want uh, want also mention something actually. Um, if if you do it up close, it's like easier, right? But watch, if I do it from from here, I don't. It varies on the character, but like here, see, it it it. It doesn't work as well, or not at all. Because look, you, the beginning part actually puts them up, see? Now, if it does work, it's a different timing. But look, if I'm close when I do it... Oh, <laughs> that, that actually glitched. But look, see if I'm really close, it puts them on the fire wheel, basically. So, uh, putting them on the fire wheel by being close, that's basically what you gotta do. And there's also things like this, like... If you if you do it from like the ledge or down here, you, you can actually get it. Well, I did it slow then. But... Um, if you do it too low, see like when it's inside the stage, you you see how you heard the footstool effect, but it didn't actually work. It's kind of unfortunate because I kind of wanted to do this to people online, but then like you see it's uh actually let me see. I, I'm not sure this might be too difficult. See see how you heard the footstool sound, but it didn't work. Uh, it could just be a different timing, but uh, I don't know. I, I haven't labbed that one extensively. I've just, I just I just labbed the basic one because that's where the actual like consistent infinite is. Well, infinite, assuming they don't tech. But then once you realize if they know how to tech or not, you can sell, or they're usually always going to tech or never tech most of the time. But anyway, I still think this is really cool. The jab F smash, it is true. If you guess their tech left or right, that's also like a 50-50 if they're cornered. So, or this, if they go away, like, it's still really good to learn in general. Because if you hit them with side B up close, there's no reason not to go for that. Because now they're on the ground. Now, sh when they're on the ground, they have less options. And... Pyra has a lot of hard punishes. She has a whole she has a whole bunch of hard punishes that she can do. So, so oh, wait, not Pyra. Did I say Palutena? I meant Pyra. Um, Pyra has a lot of hard punishes that she can do. So yeah, I'd say this is worth learning. Uh, if they don't tech, it is an it is an infinite back and forth, uh, like zero to three hundred, and it also is uh, a true zero to death, assuming they don't smash DI out of it. I haven't really lab smashed yet because nobody uses smash. If there's anything I learned using Game Watch and uh, a bunch of other characters people just don't want to sdi no matter what but, but um yeah I, d I would say that this is worth learning because they you either get the infinite or they're on the ground and then get tech chase it's a win-win either way it's just one of the wins is smaller than the other now you might be like okay well what about this character this character well i only tested a handful of characters just to see if it was consistent and stuff um there's 80 characters in the game, so it would be absolute insanity to test every possible combination in the game on every single character, so uh, I'm not going to do that. If, if if someone wants to let me know in the comments below which characters it doesn't doesn't work on, I would love to know that because I actually want to use this character a lot, and I'm pretty sure pe people would appreciate the info. So if you, do, if you guys do have that information or would like to give that information, please mention in the comments, hey, this works on this character, this doesn't. That would actually be very helpful because actually as i said i'm interested in this character i'm pretty sure people want to know i just took a few random choices or characters i was curious on use that as like a sample size to see but yeah well i hope this video was useful to you you know i've been i i'm not i didn't actually discover this but i i found out about it like yesterday or so or two days ago and i, I started looking into it more and i was just studying it and stuff and i figured you guys would appreciate a video on this if you guys would like to get uh better at smash i actually do i just recently started coaching lessons on a website called metify.gg which is also of my name tag uh definitely consider going to that page it's also in the youtube it's also in the youtube description if you want to get better at smash uh if, 
I've helped MK Leo and tons of other people to get much better at the game. Just, uh, just ask them. Speaking about Leo, also does coaching. He's trying to get more clients as well. So if you're interested in that, we can we can both help you get a lot better. Um, with that said, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me get get some more, uh, give me more information. And before you guys leave, please consider subscribing, clicking the bell icon next to subscribe. That actually helps out a lot more than you'd think. Check the YouTube description. And with that said, I don't want to keep you too long. I'll see you guys next video.